If you were absent last week in art, we started a new project for our fundraiser where we drew step by step together a snail. So you're going to follow along today with your special paper, a pencil, uh, a circle to trace, and a clipboard. And you're going to work to get caught up. So you will take your paper and it needs to be long ways, so horizontal means across, not vertically. This is up and down or vertical, not tall. We're gonna make sure our paper is wide across. You're going to use your cup and put it upside down. Hold it with one hand and use your pencil to trace around the cup to make a nice circle. Go slow and don't smash the cup. Just trace around till you have a nice circle. Then you can put the cup out of the way. You are finished with it. Okay, I'm gonna show you step by step how to draw the snail. We're going to draw a straight line out of the back of the snail. This is gonna become the snail's tail. Whenever it's as long as I would like, I don't wanna go clear to the edge. I'm going to curve around and come back to the snail shell. Then we're gonna to move to the front of the snail. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come straight out, but we're gonna curve way up and loop over. This is gonna be where we put his mouth and curve back to my snail shell. Next, we'll make him some eyes. We're gonna put two straight lines going up and then two large circles for his eyes. Inside of his eyes, we're gonna make a dark circle for his pupils. Now, to work on his mouth, we're going to draw a straight line off across the top and then a curved line at the bottom. I'm gonna add some teeth. I'm gonna make one line that goes across horizontally, means across, and vertically up and down. Two lines for his teeth. Now we're going to work on the front of our picture. This is called the foreground. I'm going to make a zigzag line to make a patch of grass in the front. The other thing I'm going to make on this other side in the front is going to be two rocks. Rocks are easy. All rocks look different. We're just gonna make two lumpy shapes. One and two. Next, we're gonna add the horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground. I'm gonna put my horizon line behind his shell. So I'm gonna draw a straight line across. I'm gonna pick up my pencil and drag it across my shell. And draw a straight line across. When I get to the snail, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna draw that line. I'm gonna skip over the snail and go straight. This is my ground and now this is my sky. In the background, I'm gonna draw a flower. So I'm gonna draw a circle for the middle and then make loops to make my flower. Okay, now I have the top of my flower. I'm gonna draw a curved line down to the ground for my stem and then a curved line from the ground back to my flower. I'm gonna add one leaf to my flower. I'm just gonna curve out and then back to the bottom. I'll put one line in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and add another patch of grass back here in the background. The background is the back of our picture. The foreground was the front of our picture. So another zigzag line for a patch of grass. If you have room, you can make another patch of grass in front of your snail with another zigzag line. Okay, now I'm ready to use the crayons. Everything on your paper should be traced with a black crayon. So we're gonna trace all of our lines with a black crayon. The reason that we're gonna use crayon is so that the paint won't stick to the crayon. Crayons have a special wax, so the paint won't stick to them. 
so our lines will still show up and be very nice when we paint. Don't forget to trace his eyes. And his pupils, the dark parts of his eyes. And his teeth. A lot of people forget to trace over the lines in the teeth. Okay. Next, we are going to put a spiral inside of our snail shell. You can make your spiral any color that you would like. I'm going to make mine this fuchsia color. To make a spiral, I'm going to put a dot in the middle of his shell, and then I'm just gonna draw a curved line that spirals as we go out. When you reach the shell, we want to go back in and color beside your line. It's not thick enough. It's a very thin line. We want to make it thicker so the paint won't stick to it and our spiral will pop off of our page and look really nice. We just want to make our line thicker. Once my spiral is thick, then I can stop with the crayon. Then I'm going to use green you, I gave you a dark green and a light green, and you can color just the small things that we made. So the patches of grass, the flower stem, and leaf, and your rocks. I'm gonna outline mine in green first. And then I'm going to use some green to color them in because they will be very hard to paint. They're pretty small. I'm going to go ahead and trace this line here in the background, my horizon line where the grass meets the sky in green as well. And I'm going to use my brighter green to fill in the rest of my leaf. I just wanted to use two greens so that looks a little bit better and it's not so plain to look at. I'm using a variety. Color in just my grass. I don't want to color all of this grass down here because I can paint that quickly. These things that we made with crayon will stand out of our picture. They'll pop out and they'll look really nice. Okay. Last, I just need to do the flower and my rocks. I'm going to use brown and gray for my rocks up to you what colors you want to use. So one rock I'm going to make brown. And one rock I'm going to make gray. And last is my flower. 
I'm going to give my flower an orange center. You can choose any color that you would like. And red petals. Again, color choice is up to you. We're doing our best work, making sure that we have excellent craftsmanship. I'm not pressing hard, I don't want my hand to get tired. And I'm trying to stay inside of my lines, doing my very best work. Okay, now that I have all of the small things colored, my entire snail is traced and I made a spiral, I'm ready to move on to painting. I'm going to fix one little line that's a little wonky on my snail. Okay, make sure that your name and class code are on the back. Class code would be two and then the first letter of your teacher's name then you are ready to join your table and paint your snail.